Hello and welcome to Math Simplified. In this video, we are going to discuss about the effects of exercise on immunity. We will discuss how moderate exercise has beneficial effects on the immune function, and then we will talk about why prolonged and strenuous exercise is not good for your immune system. And in the end, we will also discuss some key five daily lifestyle changes that you can do from tomorrow that will boost your immunity and help you fight infections and diseases. So make sure to watch the video till the end and let's begin. Physical exercise has numerous effects on the human body, including the immune system, which was quoted by Matthew et al. in the study they did to check the effects of exercise on immunity. It is well known that mild to moderate exercise helps to boost the overall immune system and activity of key white blood cells. Although exercise immunology is considered a relatively new area of scientific discovery, with 90% of papers being published after 1990, some of the earlier studies were published well over a century ago. For example, in 1902, Lara B. provided evidence that changes in white blood cell differential counts in Boston Marathon runners parallel those that are seen in certain disease conditions. He also observed that the exertion had gone far beyond the physiological limits and our results certainly show that where this is the case, we may get a considerable leukocytosis of an inflammatory type, which basically meant that prolonged strenuous running in marathon runners leads to a decreased function of white blood cells. Over the last four decades, many studies have investigated how exercise affects the immune system. It is widely agreed that regular, moderate intensity exercise is beneficial for your immunity. But a view is held by some that more strenuous exercise can suppress the immune system, leading to an open window of heightened infection risk in the hours and days following the exercise, which basically means that you may become prone to viral flu and other respiratory illnesses after heavy strenuous exercise as done by marathon runners. In a benchmark study in 2018, this open window hypothesis was challenged by Dr. Campbell and Dr. Turner. They reported in a review article that the theory was not well supported by scientific evidence, summarizing that there is limited reliable evidence that exercise suppresses the immunity, concluding instead that exercise is only beneficial for the immune system. They said that in the short term, exercise can help the immune system find and deal with pathogens and in the long term, regular exercise slows down changes that happen to the immune system with aging, therefore reducing the risk of infections. In a new article published this month, leading experts including Dr. Turner and Dr. Campbell debated whether the immune system can change in a negative or positive way after exercise and whether or not athletes get more infections than the general population. The article concluded that infections are more likely to be linked to inadequate diet, psychological stress, insufficient sleep, travel and most importantly pathogen exposure as social gathering events like marathon runners, rather than the act of exercising itself. Co-author Dr. John Campbell added, People should not fear that their immune system will be suppressed by exercise, placing them at increased risk of coronavirus. Provided exercise is carried out according to the latest government guidelines on social distancing, regular exercise will have a tremendous positive effect on our health and well-being, both today and for the future. So what were some of the key takeaway points from this study? Number 1. Exercise improves immunity. Number 2. Exercise improves white blood cells and increases their movement and potential for fighting diseases. Number 3. The data that strenuous heavy exercise decreases immunity is not clear. There is also a fourth point in exercise physiology that is particularly important at this point of time. The researchers underline the importance of maintaining a good personal hygiene when exercising, including thoroughly washing hands following the exercise. To give the body its best chance at fighting off infections, they suggest in addition to doing regular exercise, people need to pay attention to the amount of sleep they get. Regular moderate intensity aerobic exercise such as walking, running or cycling is recommended with the aim of achieving 150 minutes per week. In my personal life, I have made a poster of two very good quotes that I have hanged on one of my walls. These read, move more and something is better than nothing. Such things keep me motivated to do exercise at least five days a week with a mix of cardio and weight training. 
Don't ignore exercise. It's a powerful medicine for your heart and arteries. It strengthens your cardiovascular system, allowing your heart to pump more blood with less effort. It makes your tissues more sensitive to insulin, which means cells throughout your body more easily absorb and burn blood sugar for energy. It helps to lower your levels of triglycerides, tiny packages of fat that float around in the bloodstream. Exercise also helps to decrease inflammation and prevent blood clotting, which can lead to stroke, heart attack and other problems. Finally, exercise creates physiological changes in the brain that lead to an increased sense of well-being, confidence and an improved mood. So now let's discuss about the top 5 lifestyle changes that you can start practicing from tomorrow that will help you to boost your immunity and fight off infections. Number 1 is adequate sleep. Adequate sleep is one of the most important aspects of having a good functioning immune system. Create a good sleep hygiene ritual and I'm sure there are hundreds of other videos on YouTube that will help you in this regard. Number 2 is taking small walks maybe 10 to 15 minute walks in your workspace or your home. Number 3 is to minimize stress in your life. Do meditation, yoga, good social relations etc that will help you to minimize stress in your life. Number 4 is hydrate hydrate hydrate. Water plays many important roles in your body including your immune system. Number 5 and the last one is that there is no shortage of supplements claiming that they can stimulate your immune system but be wary of these promises the one that has been trusted since ages is only vitamin C and 500 mg of vitamin C a day is adequate for a properly functioning immune system so guys thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video you can support our channel by clicking the join button below and getting awesome benefits in return Also you can support our community at patreon.com and get awesome benefits in return. Thank you so much for watching.